Hello everyone. Excellent evening everyone. We are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. How are we? And happy new week. Happy new week to every one of us. How are you doing? How is your week going? So we are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. I'm so excited for this new week. How excited are you also that God has brought us into this new week and um, it's, um, it's so wonderful. Today, we're going to be looking at a question that we need to answer and that question is an also important, you know, question that you need to answer and um, thank God it's not only just talking about it, we're also going to do something very, very practical about this question and make sure that um, we do all we need to do. So if you know anybody who is having issues with pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, just um, tell the person to join us today. Okay, just tell the person to come on and join us today because um, we are going to be talking, discussing and sharing. All right. So I'm going to share, 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 and then we get going today as we look at that also important question. Can diabetes be reversed? Is it reversible? And if it is, how? And if it's not, why? <laughs> okay, so that's all we're going to be doing today. So if you've joined me live, you can greet. Excellent evening so that I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. All right. As we go on to check out, is diabetes reversible? And if it is, how is it done? How can it be done? Welcome, welcome. I'm still waiting to see who we greet so I can greet us and then we get going this evening in this evening's broadcast. It's like my, my network is a little funny on the web. Oh, we'll get moving. Hello, Vero. How are you? You're welcome this evening. Hello, Bev Ogbe. You're welcome. Valentina, you're welcome. Dickness Dorcas, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. We're highly welcome to this evening's broadcast. I want to quickly share. My phone was behaving funny. I want to quickly share out. So help me share, share, share. If you join me live, and like I said, it's a new week. It's a glorious week. It's an awesome week. And the month is moving. <laughs> moving gradually to an end. We thank God that he's keeping us safe. He's keeping us healthy. And he's keeping us serving him even as the year is running you know, in and in and going deeper. All right, so like I said today, today we're going to be looking at that question and we're going to be answering that question very deeply and not only just answering the question, I'm also going to throw open to us if you are diabetic or you're pre-diabetic or if um, you know someone who is, this. the chat room is not for everyone if you're not don't join us because um but if you are then you can join that chat room and then um, we're going to be doing a lot there and it's an all doing chat room it's not where you just come and keep quiet i normally run very strict chat rooms <laughs> so i want to take us on a journey okay i want to take some people on a journey and that journey we're going to be doing a lot of research together we're going to be doing a lot of trying out the things that have worked for other people we're going to be doing a lot of recipes we're going to be doing a lot of you know exercises and trying out foods that work we're going to be doing a lot of menu changes okay on your diet to be able to find out remember these things might not work for everyone the same way because we stay in different areas there are different foods are found 
in the areas where you work so i just want to bring out this one month specifically for those who are having issues with blood sugar and i want to work with them so that they this will be reversed okay so that you will see that it's possible and we're going to be doing a lot of talk and when i ask questions people must answer or else i don't what i usually do if i work with people even if it's only one or two people that get the results i'm okay so you know because if others are not following what we're doing then it's not my fault okay <laughs> there is one woman that went to the clinic one time and came back and they told her what to do when she came in she removed some of the things they told her and said you see this one they talk of eh me i'm not doing she will keep this one no me i will do she will keep at the end of the day she didn't get all the results needed who is to blame okay so that's what we do hello so let me welcome everyone and we go in there and to do what we need to do today i'm going to be dropping the link to that group for the diabetes class okay it's only for diabetes people it's a program and we're going to go through that program and i want people who will obey and people don't obey me i carry those who are obeying who are doing and go so that we can go through this for like one month okay all right hello grace you're welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome saikai how are you good evening welcome Oluwa Kemi Modupe. welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome titilola ola bode all the way from uae you're welcome ma arinola adisida you're welcome dickness docas you're welcome uh mercy alone speaks forever confirm yeah it does mercy speaks okay Valentina, we greeted before. Bevobo, we greeted before. All right. Welcome, Alabifu. Lola, welcome, Vivian. Hello, be welcome for La Adeoye. So, we are all welcome. I'm going to greet more people and take in more questions later. So, let's just go straight to the teaching and begin to look into it because um, we don't have so much time and we need to actually close on time also. So, like I said, I'm going to drop my number on the platform now and then i'll drop the link also i'll drop the link also of um the chat room for diabetes chat room so please don't enter if you if you don't um, need it okay we'll continue with our facebook teachings here so if you don't need it just leave it for people who who need to be there okay so um i'm going to drop it now and i'm going to pin it on the screen and I'm going to drop it and pin it with my face, uh, WhatsApp number so you can still get back to me if you need anything from the WhatsApp. If you need more um, to talk to me about anything on WhatsApp, that's my easiest, you know, mood of, uh, mode of communication with people. All right. So my WhatsApp number once again is plus two, three, four. My WhatsApp number is plus two three four plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two all right and then i'm going to also drop the link to the telegram group so um and then i'm going to pin it so that you will be able to just um enter the group if you need to hello kate kate all the way from from ghana kate is one of my 100 influencers yeah that reminds me so i'm raising 100 influencers global influencers this year 100 global influencers who use their talent their hobbies their passion their burdens to be able to reach people out there with health good health and also you know when we talk about health we have eight dimensions of health emotional financial uh, medical and otherwise okay so you can decide to stay only on emotional health like i have one of the new people joining my 100 influencers team her own is emotion she's dealing with people who are anxious who are depressed okay that's her passion and she's using it already to touch lives all over the world and i'm coaching her on what to do so that's what I'm raising. 100 influencers. You can also chat me on my WhatsApp number if you want to become one of the 100 influencers. And every fortnight we have our globe, um, club meeting to tell you what we do. And then every day I'm running teaching depending on the time of the people and the group of the people that one is running with and that I'm teaching. Hello, 
welcome welcome kate yeah you reminded me about global influencers thank you Ty will love it how are you welcome love it were you the one that was trying to enter the chat room yesterday the zoom link and you couldn't if you are tell me because i need to send you the recorded version okay so love it if you're the one chat me now so that i'll send you on especially on whatsapp so i can send you the recorded version all right so today we are looking at can diabetes be reversed can diabetes be reversed diabetes also known as diabetes mellitus occurs when blood sugar when your blood sugar level sometimes called blood glucose are too high so when your blood um, glucose or your blood sugar level are too high that one will be said to have diabetes okay okay so love it is you chat me on my whatsapp number okay i want to send you the recorded version because you kept coming in and going out so you didn't hear what we did okay so chat me on my whatsapp number so i'll be able to to send you you can watch it at the from the comfort of your home all right so blood glucose is the body's primary source of energy where your body draws energy from is from the blood glucose and it's actually absorbed from food that enters the cell with the help of your hormone insulin that hormone insulin which also is made on the pancreas from the pancreas that's what helps your body to absorb the insulin okay and you know they did a research in us and they found out that 34 million americans have diabetes and out of these 34 million 90 to 95 percent of them are type 2 diabetes okay i know that's for me it's a little positive because if it's type 1 diabetes many people would have died that because you can't control type 1 diabetes i'm going to be explaining later to you now so it mostly affects people type 2 diabetes mostly affect people from about the age of 45 years okay but there are there's also the research is also finding out that they're they are having increased incidence in children especially among young adults because of the type of food they eat now diabetes the bad thing about diabetes is that it can lead to other health problems it can lead to other secondary diseases okay including like heart disease stroke some people get stroke because of diabetes then also kidney disease nerve damages eye problems so pre-diabetes increases the risk of for heart diseases and also for stroke and as well as the risk of developing the type 2 diabetes that is now disease on its own okay so is it possible to reverse diabetes yes it's possible to reverse both pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes so these types of diabetes these two types of diabetes can be reversed okay but type 1 diabetes and gestational diabetes are not reversible now gestational diabetes are the diabetes that are developed during pregnancy okay if someone they, um, gets gestational diabetes as long as that person is pregnant it's hardly reversed hardly but some i believe in miracles okay all right and miracles are easy yes of course all right now so also type 1 diabetes not reversible i'm going to be explaining to you later why this is so all right so most people with diabetes have insulin resistance meaning when someone has insulin resistance their bodies don't use insulin well they don't use the insulin their bodies are producing well and glucose will now stay in their blood and it will not be able to reach the cell okay for that energy needed and eventually it will cause health problems so other people with diabetes either don't make enough insulin or they don't even make insulin at all so let's just look at the four types of diabetes we want to look at today or the four most common uh, types of diabetes before we go back to type 2 diabetes and then discuss how it can be reversed so the first type is type 1 diabetes and type 1 diabetes is when the body doesn't make insulin okay the immune system attacks and kills the cells in the pancreas that that actually creates insulin so when the immune system attacks those cells and it kills them off insulin is not made okay and that's type 1 diabetes okay and usually doctors or healthcare providers will diagnose this form of em diabetes in young children but it can then develop when they have become older 
So type 1 diabetes patients must use insulin every day. So when we're talking about diabetes reversal here, we're not talking about reversing type 1 diabetes. So we need to really get it right, okay? Hello, girls, this Tali, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Please, let's invite, invite, and make sure you share this video even when we are through. Then type 2 diabetes is when your body doesn't make or use insulin well. When your body doesn't make or use insulin well, it's type 2 diabetes. And it's very, very, the most commonest, like I told us, in America alone, if you take the percentage of people who have diabetes, up to 90, 93, 95% of them are type 2 diabetes. And you know, well, it can be reversed. So that's very, very good. So although it happens at any age, type 2 diabetes can happen at any age, but type 2 diabetes, diabetes most often develops in middle age and older adults. So that's why when by the time you're 40, 45, 50, then you'll be, you're beginning to wonder what's happening to my body. You know, you go for tests and they'll say, oh, your sugar level is high. They'll keep talking about it. So that's when such things begin to happen. Hello, Queen Odiroro, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. We are dealing with can diabetes be reversed. All right, so gestational diabetes develops in pregnant women, like I said before, and it usually goes away after the baby is born, okay? But it does actually raise the risk of a mother developing type 2 diabetes later. So that's why it's very, very important. You find out that those who go for atinata, they keep checking the blood sugar because they are at a very high risk of gestational diabetes. So when you're pregnant, you know, you begin to um, crave for so many things. At that period that you're craving, you need to control yourself. It's very, very important that you control yourself so you don't develop gestational diabetes, okay? So diabetes during pregnancy is also, sometimes it can be type 2 diabetes. Now the last one and the easiest of the first is pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is when your blood glucose level are higher than, your, than usual, but not high enough to be diabetes. So they will say you are borderline, your glucose level is high, they are watching you, they will keep telling you go for this test and the other. All that. That's the best time to reverse diabetes. That's the best time I mean to reverse. But the best time is making sure you don't even get it at all because prevention okay is better than early detection do you agree with me prevention is better than early detection it's better for you to prevent any disease than that is detected early and then you begin to work on it so that's where i stand with pre-diabetes okay yes it's if you are pre-diabetic it's best to handle it now but more importantly for those of us who are very healthy let's prevent diabetes prevention is better than early de detection prevention is better than cure safer than cure cheaper than cure all right so now what is the best way to reverse diabetes we're going to be looking at some like eight nine ways and then like i said you can click the link and join the telegram group if you're diabetic pre-diabetic okay or if you're having type 2 diabetes because we're going to go on a challenge we're going to go on a one month challenge to reverse diabetes and i'm going to be finding out your peculiar problem your peculiar situation and then work with you hand in hand to do that now the telegram group will be where i'll share some information but those who follow me and do what i ask them to do i work hand in hand with them to make sure that we get to that end of tunnel where we will see bright light wow so the first step in diabetes remission for those with pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes is blood glucose control that's the first place when we are talking about reversal how you need to control your blood glucose and this is done either through medication supplementation or eating healthy food or let me not say all oh, and eating healthy food okay and then also losing weight to help your body to respond more effectively to insulin because obesity and overweight will make your body not to respond effectively to insulin okay these actions can help reverse insulin resistance and then also prevent or delay type 2 diabetes especially with people within people with pre-diabetics okay all right hello ikik welcome 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 to this evening's broadcast like i said let's share 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 
I know that this topic is not very, very wide. We might not have so many people live, but let's share it. As you watch, you can put hash replay and then you share it, okay? We need to share, share, share. So the first thing is dietary change. And that's where we will start from in the chat room. We're going to start with dietary change. We're going to, I'm going to be looking at you and we're going to be developing some menu plan that will be peculiar to you or peculiar to your environment or people of your type. Okay, in fact, the American Diabetes Association, ADA, and a panel of scientists, doctors, diabetes educators, and dietitians set out to find which healthy eating pattern would work well for people with diabetes. So what did they do? They reviewed about 600 articles and found that no one diet works for everyone. And that's why you need attention. And that's why you need to, for someone to follow you, for experts to follow you and help you, okay? Because there's no one diet that fits all. It's no one shoe that fits all, okay? So, but following a few guidelines can help people to manage the condition and also be able to get your own diet. And that's what I'm doing in the chat room that I'm setting up. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to follow you. And then we get a diet that can work for you. In general, their report suggests that people with diabetes eat plenty of non-starchy vegetables. Remember that there are still some vegetables that are starchy vegetables, okay? And then again, they should take whole grains and unprocessed foods. When we talk about unprocessed food, okay? In fact, one of the uh, medical doctors I was listening to, he said, anything on label, anything you're buying that has label, drop it, especially when it's food that you're eating directly, okay? And then also less added sugar. In fact, for anyone who wants to go on this journey of, of diabetes reversal, you need to remove sugar from your diet completely. And you know some people say, I don't take sugar, I don't take honey, I don't take... But they go ahead and they take processed food. They take pastries, they take snacks, and all these things are made with sugar. And for those of us in this part of the world, where people will make snacks and make things like that, they don't even tell you what is inside there. So one of the things also I'm going to be teaching you is how you have to make your own food. That's another stand point of you reversing diabetes no so for diabetic patients the di the diet itself or food doesn't really is not really the main issue it's more about one portion control which is one of the things we are going to be doing in that chat room i'm going to be teaching you how you can do your portion control i have my measuring cups and those of you who will need it by then will be able to give you your measuring cups okay and then also whether you choose low carb diet ketogenic diet mediterranean diet or intermittent fasting there is really no difference between one diet or the other all these things will work if you follow through the issue is are you following through the most important thing is to stick to one diet okay is that the most important thing stick to one diet because each every one of these diet methods i've talked about ketogenic diet mediterranean diet low carb diet intermittent fasting they all have one thing in common and that is eat more vegetables more protein fewer carbohydrates go and watch all of them that's what they're saying so don't just jump from one to the other from the other one to the other we stick to one and we are sticking to intermittent fasting okay in that place, we are going to be doing a lot of portion control and intermittent fasting. That's what we want to use to reverse this diabetes, okay? I'm going to be teaching you intermittent fasting windows. You know, I'm going to be teaching you orthophagy that you're going to do in that place. It's a wonderful place and it's a once in a lifetime. Usually when I do this, I charge a lot of money, but I want to just give this and use it because I want to try out and prove that this can be done. And then millions of naira will follow <laughs> that will be charged later. So the second way to reverse diabetes is calorie restriction. Okay, calorie restriction. Hello, Kate. Oji, good evening from Port Harcourt. Welcome, Kate. Watching all the way from Port Harcourt. Thank you for joining us this evening. Let's invite, invite, invite and ask your questions and share, share, share to other people. Okay, so calorie restriction. 
you know what about eating a low calorie diet okay they did a small study in 2011 and they they they, they, they um for people that were restricted that they restricted their diets people with type 2 diabetes and they found out that just 600 calories a day for eight weeks 600 calories of meal a day for eight weeks did a lot of wonders they found that the underlying signs of diabetes insulin resistance and pancreas function began to improve signaling diabetes remission okay signaling that reversal so in that chat room we're going to be doing a lot of calorie restrictions now you don't say you're, you won't be full you're going to be full because we're going to give you something that we feel you that has lower calories okay things that we feel you for example let me give you one thing now instead of swallowing a uh, bar swallowing amala swallowing semovita swallowing pando yam i'm going to teach you how you can use vegetables with low carb to make that swallow and you take that swallow okay and that's why i'm putting up one one month which is four weeks. By the time I guide you for four weeks, then you have entered that new lifestyle. You'll be able to do the remaining part of the eight weeks. Then you go, and along the line, as we're going, you're going to be checking your blood sugar as we're going. You're going to be going to the hospital. You walk line hand in hand, hand with your doctors to make sure that things work out well for you. So there was another research that shows that gastric bypass, okay, or bias, um this biuretic surgery also reduce, which reduces the stomach size, limited calories, and then in reverse diabetes also. So for people who can't um, go through that discipline of controlling themselves with calorie intake, they can go and do the operation. But I always tell people, anything man has cuts because when they are doing operation for you, they are going to cut through your body. So why don't you just become serious with your life? So that it doesn't degenerate to a time where you will need to do all those operations. So you, go, you become disciplined and we are in the chat room. We encourage ourselves. We want ourselves. We, we are each other's accountability partner and we go through it. Okay. All right. So, and again, um, like I said, gastric bypass is another option for people with type 2 diabetes and other serious weight related health conditions like people who are having sleep apnea, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol with a body mass index of over 35 and above. Sometimes they do that gastric bypass, okay? So those who have the surgery, we still need to make significant lifestyle changes to lose and to maintain that body weight. And that's why I say, why don't you go through the natural means instead of going through operation? Like we have this our Clean 9 weight loss program. And I, 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 I try to read, um, play for us the testimony of one of my clients that I, I passed through and coached through, through this clean nine. Okay, she even said, ah, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I said, just go through it with me. If you go through it with me and it doesn't work, I give you your money back. <laughs> well, she's all the way in Dublin. So she went through it, she went through the, the stages obeyed no cheating okay she did not cheat and by day five she already lost five kilograms and she was so excited by day nine she had already lost 11 kilograms you can imagine it. what some people cannot do in one year through this clean nine program she was able to lose 11 kg and so for people who are overweight that are also joining me i'm going to be checking your bmi there is a certain level your BMI will be, and I insist you go through this fasting program. It's a weight loss program and detox program that can help you crash down your weight so that you'll be able to go through that lifestyle change that can help you. All right. So instead of going through one operation, why don't you do your clean nine to make sure you reduce that weight? All right. So the third way, the third way, best ways. Remember, we're looking at some best ways you can reverse diabetes the third way is exercise regular exercise and you know and lowering your body fat are very very critical in managing type 2 diabetes and also pre-diabetes you know physical exercise increases the body's cell insulin sensitivity so it works more effectively 
when you exercise well, your body's cell insulin sensitivity is increased. All right. So, in fact, experts recommend 20 minutes of moderate exercise every day, which is also what we're going to be doing in that chat room. We wake up ourselves, wake up call. We do what we're supposed to do, our water therapy. We do our daily detox. And then we also go for our exercises. All right. So, and again, aerobic activities like jogging, cycling, hiking, resistance training. You know, when we talk about resistance training, we talk about like weightlifting. I don't know where they, they left my weight or something. They used my table today. All right. So, you know, you have your dumbbells that you can use. You have your fitness ball that you can use. Okay. Because this will help to also build up the new muscles. That, that are coming up when you reduce your carbohydrate and you take more protein. People who aren't very active or have health concerns should also concern. Um, if you're not very active originally and you're just starting, you need to watch it. Try to talk with your doctors, go for your checkup so to be sure that that is okay for you. Now, another way is sleep. The fourth way is sleep. Research suggests a link between sleep metabolism and obesity this there's a link between these three okay sleep metabolism and obesity a lack of sleep makes us more hungry when you don't sleep well you get hungry especially for foods that are high in calorie and high in carbohydrates okay so scientists also believe that sleep affects hormones in the body called gelin or leptin that regulates hunger so when you don't sleep well, it, um, those hormones are sensitive, okay? So another factor, a lack of sleep zaps off your energy and your physical energy. And then you, 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 you as big um, grown-up adults, you should get at least seven to nine hours of sleep at night. And then you'll be able to work towards better sleep habits by removing one electronic device like your phone from your bedroom. What I do now is once I close, I drop it on the floor for it to charge or I leave it there. I used to keep it near me so that I'll be able to get up if I need to wee wee. But now, I don't even wee wee throughout the night. Once I go to the toilet, the next time I'm getting up to wee wee is 6 a.m. So I just drop down my phone there, okay? And then avoid heavy meals two to three hours before you sleep. That will also help you to get good sleep. But if you're having sleep disorder, not, don't worry. Okay, there is a solution for you, and that solution is our blossom tea. And if you are the type that you don't like blossom tea, you can also use our health drink, bits and peaches. Bits and peaches will help you to get very deep sleep. Blossom tea will help you to get very deep sleep. You can actually also combine it. To some nights when I'm really, really, I've worked so hard during the day, I take my tea, I take my bits and peaches. All right, so. Number five is your mental health. We, remember, we're talking, looking at the best ways to reverse diabetes, okay? Having an illness can cause anxiety, sadness, and a loss of interest in previous things you used to enjoy. If you're having um, sickness, like for people, women, that's why women who have menopausal issues, women who are going through menopausal issues, that's why they have... Um, mental health issue some are already having dementia memory loss anxiety mood swings and things like that okay all right hello Her henry ottawa you're welcome neka lydia you're welcome shibuza that you you're welcome Unis adele you're welcome to this evening's broadcast Unis is also one of my 100 influencers you're welcome Unis. well done and she has soft spot for catering so if you need catering services <laughs> Chat, Yulis Adele, she's into catering and she's still using her forever products to touch more lives all over the world. So, as a second stream of income, all right? So, you can do what you're doing and still join the 100 influencers. Remember, if you want to join the 100 influencers, just click and call my number or chat me on WhatsApp and then I'll be able to get back to you. Hello, Meg. Meg is watching from Spain. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, people with diabetes are two or three times more likely to have depression than those without that condition. Yet, only 25% to 50% are diagnosed and treated. 
they are also 20% more likely to be anxious, okay? I've spoken with a number of people with diabetes or pre-diabetes during this week and I found out that quite a number of them are anxious. And that's why I'm setting up that room so that we'll be able to encourage ourselves, laugh about these things and call it nothing and be able to come out of it. So those who are trying to reverse diabetes may also have this feeling that if you don't see anticipated results or have friend or family support, you feel bad about it, okay? And that's why this group is also very good for you because we're going to be people with common ideas, common vision, chasing the same thing, and then sharing our experiences and our testimonies to encourage one another, all right? So the, 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 the sixth one is smoking. Smoking can be a cause of type 2 diabetes. And in fact, smokers are 30 percent to 40 percent more likely to develop type 2 diabetes so if you know anybody smoking one that person concerning type 2 diabetes they also have trouble controlling the disease someone who is having type 2 diabetes and is smoking very very difficult for that person to control the disease okay they are at very very high risk of that problem because they will, they will have heart disease issue poor circulation and especially going to their legs and their feet and this can damage also their nerves and also damage their eyes. The number seven is people who are treating polycysts ovarian ovar ovary syndrome. Okay, people who are treating um, polycysts ovar ovary syndromes. Okay, this PCOS is a common cause of infertility, and it also affects a lot of women. Okay, who are also in their childbearing age. So women with this condition have trouble using insulin well which also raises the risk of type 2 diabetes so more than half of women with pcos also develop type 2 diabetes by the time they reach age 40 and people with this health concern should also take care of this make sure they are in the hospital they are going for their checkups they are also um, getting it treated so that it will also be able to lead to the reversal if you are no more taking the medication okay we're going to be looking at medication later just before we close but i want to ask this question how long do you think it takes to reverse diabetes that's one of the most common questions that people um, ask concerning diabetes hello rachel bye bye you're welcome okay welcome welcome to this evening's broadcast remember i said put in your question and tell me where you're calling in from and then click on the chat on the um was on, on that place i put my whatsapp number you will see the link to join the telegram group if you want to join the telegram group to also be able to learn and how to reverse diabetes or pre-diabetes if you're having one so type 2 diabetes um there's no set time frame for when people with type 2 diabetes may start to see their hard work pay off there's no you will not say okay it's one month it's two weeks it's three weeks but in general, diabetes experts say that medication and lifestyle changes, diabetes patients will notice a difference within three to six months. And remember, that's why I told you, I work with you with, for one month, and then you have developed that lifestyle change. You will still contact me, you will still talk with me. Then you work with yourself for another like eight weeks. Eight weeks give you like two months. You begin to see changes from three months, six months. And then we, remember we're talking about reversing. Okay, so it may take one month to stabilize your blood sugar with or even without medication. If you are in this lifestyle change, there are some of the things we are doing. And then it will not take like a couple of months for more or more for your lifestyle change to take effect. Remember, what we are doing is not, it's not like medication that you just take medication and you not see results. And then when you stop the medication, everything comes back. But when you have a lifestyle change, and that lifestyle change is now something you do all the time. It's a lifestyle. It's a habit. You live with it. As long as you're maintaining that lifestyle change, which has now become easy for you. Like I'm going to be teaching you how some of these food that are not very palatable, if cooked in certain ways, how you can make them very palatable and enjoyable. I was talking with one person today and she was telling me, ah, that the vegetable she's taking is no more. She's just becoming, she's like punishment eating food. So I had to give her ideas. Do this, do that, do this, do that. 
so that those vegetables can be better for you. You know, I gave her ideas on how to combine them, how to cook this food. These are all the things we are going to be doing in the chat room, okay, teaching us in the chat, chat room. So with enough work and time, you can do it. I, I, I tell you this, you can do it. You can do it and you will become healthier. The longer you've had diabetes, though, the higher your sugar have been for a sustained time and the harder it might be for you. And that's why when people ask me when they are taking my supplement, they will always say, eh, hey, for how long am I going to use this? <laughs> How long will I take this? How long? Now tell them it depends on two things. <clears throat> Number one, how long has the damage been done? Number two, how is your body responding to the supplements? How is your body responding to the lifestyle change? Okay. <clears throat> Only pressure says can those without diabetes. No, you don't need to join. Don't join. No. <laughs> If you're not pre-diabetic, if you're not diabetic, don't join. Why I'm saying don't join? So that you don't begin to do what we are saying you should do, and then you will learn into low blood sugar. Because that is even more risky, okay? So it's those who are pre-diabetic and those who are diabetic. That's whom we are dealing with and reversing it. Like I said, I'll continue giving us teaching on my Facebook. And if you go down my page, I have a lot of almost every kind of ailment that you want to know about, okay? So, in fact, there's a medical, a, a, an expert said that despite your best of efforts for some people, it might be impossible for some to become diabetes free because their, can, their pancreas just can't produce the insulin it needs, especially for people who are having type 1 diabetes. And remember, some of these diseases like type 1 diabetes might not have been but when that person does have some infection that will begin to work the 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 person's immune system begins to work against itself because of that infection it can lead to that and that's another warning i have to give us here if you have any form of infection please treat that infection on time infections are not good for it to last in your body no matter the name papilo cocos and whatever it's better for you to treat them on, on, on time okay so, um, if you notice that it cannot be reversed by the time we go through, there's no need stressing or beating yourself up. You will just need to work with your doctors on the best medication that you can take that can work for you. There are so many medications that can work for you and um, we're going to go into that very soon. Now, there's this A1C test measure that, um, that measures the average blood level sugar hemoglobin a1c so over the previous two or three months it does that it's always good for you to go for that test so your hemoglobin a1c is below if it's below 5.7 it's normal if it's between 5.7 and 6.4 is a sign of pre-diabetes and then if it's 6.5 or higher it indicates diabetes okay so people managing their type 2 diabetes should get an a1c test at least two times a year and more often if they if, um, if they change medications or have other health conditions attached to it and people working to reverse diabetes may see a difference in their blood sugar right away and be tempted to go back to their old ways i had someone i talked with today on that but don't get confused here if you stop eating sugar and carbohydrates and then you start exercising you may have lower or normal blood sugar almost immediately but it may take much longer to reverse the damage that the pancreas has endured and then start to cut through the body insulin resistance and inflammatory states okay thank you for the thumbs up thank you for the love i appreciate hello good morning indeed where are you watching him from that is morning now indeed Tell me, where are you watching it from? Japan or where? That is morning now. All right. So if people go back to that lifestyle they've left, they can now, the, the diabetes can return. So when we talk about reversal of diabetes, that lifestyle change, which we're going to be teaching you for this one month in the chat room, you need to maintain it. 
And one thing I want to do for us is to teach us how you can enjoy that lifestyle change, okay? So people with diabetes already have a gene that makes them insulin resistant and susceptible to the disease. And when you allow the blood sugar to stay for a long time, you get that gene, okay? Of course, you know that the gene of DNA is being um, manufactured all the time. So reversing diabetes takes continuous effort. I say it again. Reversing diabetes takes continuous effort over many months and then maintaining changes for a lifetime. It's not what you do and then you now go back to your lifestyle. Like I tell people who have arthritis, if you have arthritis and you are overweight, you need to work on your weight. Work on your weight. When you reduce that weight, don't add that weight back again. That's one thing. The, more, the highest culprit to diabetes is weight gain. Then again, cold. Like I'm going to be also doing a teaching for us, a free teaching that I'll drop on the chat room about how rainy season and winter can affect diabetes. Okay, they're almost cutting me off. I need to be fat. So reversing that diabetes, how it can work for you. All right, so the fourth one and the final place we are going to, the eighth, ninth one and the final place we are going to end today before I do my conclusion is on medication. Medication could also help play a role in delaying or reversing type 1 diabetes. Some research shows that people with diabetes who take insulin immediately after a diabetic, um, diabetes diagnosis have a better chance of living without it in the future and having few diabetes complications, okay? So the DPD study found that taking, like some people who take um, metformin, a medicine healthcare provider, um, they usually prescribe to treat diabetes may also prevent people from developing the disease. But like I said, we want to try lifestyle change and maintain that lifestyle change that can also help you with this diabetes reversal. So medications can help, but there are side effects. Even medical doctors will tell you that there are side effects that can go with so many of those medications like diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, you know, and especially also with the surgeries that people do. That's why going through the normal lifestyle change can be the best way that you can do. But like I said, if you find out that you cannot, it's better you go the med medicine and drugs with. Now we have some supplements that can also help with reversal that we're going to be taking for people who will join us in this group. We have some supplements that we're going to be, you know, um, telling you to get. For people who have weight, for people who don't have weight, there are some of them that we're going to be telling you to get in the chat room that can help you. So one of the greatest and very, very good um, drinks that can help you, or supplement that can help you in reversing diabetes is Forever Aloe Vera Gel. I have one man, he takes this. This just works for him. Like I told us, people have different bodies and different things that can work for them. That man, first of all, he did his clean nine. Remember, I said clean nine can be for men and for women. So he did his clean nine. After doing his clean nine, he now goes on his aloe vera gel. Just this aloe vera gel, he takes it. This man drinks it like water. But he just said, he told me, it's better for me to be on this that I'm on some kind of medication that will give me some side effects later. All right, so aloe vera gel. Fields of green is another thing. This helps you to take all the greens, reducing the carb in your body. And then Pro B, which will help with your gut, gut health. And then Nature Me. So these four supplements are, you might not, remember I tell you that people are different. By the time we join, I'll be able to tell you which one works for you by the time we look at your BMI and the rest and how it will work for you. For people who are overweight, who are not maybe they finish with their clean nine, they still want to lose more weight or they don't have the discipline to do that nine days um, intensive body weight loss that they need to do they will go on um, garcinia and then they tan okay they have to go on their garcinia with aloe vera and the tan okay so these are the supplements if you're talking about weight loss and we're talking about diabetes reversal and then remember again, like I told us, um, you need to click the link on the on the comment section and also get and join that um, 
telegram excuse me telegram group so let me just finally end off with concluding when do you see a doctor okay a person can take a simple screening okay from the cdc to see if they have increased risk of pre-diabetes you know the your, your you use your machine to check yourself the thermometer to check yourself if you have diabetes so if the test shows any elevated risk then it's better for you to actually get to your doctor so that they can take your blood sample and then do a thorough test to know whether you you have diabetes or whether you're pre-diabetes and someone who is having symptoms of diabetes you know you need to also quickly get to the hospital so that they'll be able to check what is happening to you and let's just end up with some of those symptoms the first symptom is frequent urination if you're going to the toilet all the time you know is the, the your your urine pattern or routine is not equivalent to the water you are taking you just find out that most of the time you're going to the toilet you're going to the toilet is a symptom of diabetes and then you're feeling hungry all the time you will finish eating in a few hours you're hungry again because your cell is not producing the insulin and the um, and your pancreas is not producing the insulin and the cell is not receiving that energy they need you get hungry all the time that's another symptom of diabetes another symptom is fatigue you just get tired because of course your body is not getting that energy from food that is taking so you get tired all the time and then another symptom is slow healing of cuts or bruises okay now and i had a cut like um, yesterday or day before yesterday is already healing okay so but you need some people we have this kind of cut and then for days weeks it hasn't healed so if you're having slow healing of cuts or bruises it's also a symptom of diabetes or you're having what you're having tingling or numbness or pain in the feet or hand you know you're 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 you're, you're having that tingling effect or numbness you feel as if your 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 feet is dead or you're also having some kind of pain in your fingers in your hand in your feet okay and then a, another symptom of diabetes is extreme thirst you just get very very thirsty sometimes and then also blurry vision you just find out that your vision is not as clear as it used to be so these are some of the symptoms of menopause all right i'm going to take our questions and then we call it a day because it's three minutes to nine that means we are almost one hour in this video okay somebody okay somebody is asking what to use for infection in the body Okay, if you're having infection in your body, I might have some supplements that can help you. One of it is Forever Berry Nectar. Berry Nectar is very, very good for infection. And then Propolis. Propolis is also very good. Propolis tap. And then Emu Blend. Okay, if you take um, Berry Nectar, I don't have my Propolis tap here. Propolis tap, Emu Blend these three and then you can also add garlic thyme okay garlic thyme uh, i don't have the garlic thyme container here i think they removed some supplements from the table also garlic thyme can also help you so those four supplements um garlic thyme berry nectar emu blend and propolis tap they will help all right so for infection because you need to actually get rid of infection if you allow infection to stay more in your body it can lead to secondary infections okay it can even you actually injure your immune system and then they'll begin to attack the right cells that they are not supposed to attack Meg, what's your first question? I didn't understand. Oh, Ijoma or Balo, watching from Imo State. Thank you very much. You're enjoying the lecture. God bless you. Please, let's kindly share, 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 share to so many people, okay? All right. Meg, I don't understand your question. Metaforminal is, um, um, is one of the medications you can take if you're having um diabetes okay is one of the is one of the simplest like glucophage that is given to people who are having diabetes 
I don't know if that's your question, but if you have any other question, you can ask because I'm, I will soon be stopping this video very soon. So remember, if you're watching the replay and you want to join the chat room, the Telegram chat room for us to deal with diabetes reversal, click on the chat room there and then click on that um, um, link that is on the comment section so you can join us. And then if, if you also want to talk one-on-one -on -one with me, you can chat me on my WhatsApp number plus 234-703-515-1642 so that we'll be able to talk more. Hello, Kate. Hi, Kate. How are you? All right. Valentina said, what do you use for the tingling sensation? If you're having tingling sensation, is it caused by diabetes or is it caused by menopause? Okay. So that's why I need you to find out. How is your blood sugar? You can tell me on my WhatsApp number so we can deal with it personally. If it's caused by diabetes, well, you, you can take aloe vera gel, filter of green pro, be active C. If it's caused by menopause, we also have vitalized women that you can take most, especially active C, okay? So it depends on what the cause of that tingling effect is. Valentina, you can chat me on my WhatsApp number so I'll be able to chat and more directly with you and then we find out what it is okay all right i think i've taken all our questions i think i've taken i'm just trying to go through to see if i i missed anybody's question all right if you're watching replay you can put hash replay to ask your question so i'll be able to get back later and answer your questions okay and then if you need anything chat me on my whatsapp number i'm open i'm open i always check my whatsapp number and then i'll be able to chat with you and then talk with you on whatever it is you need me for thank you all thank you thank you thank you for joining me today it's nine o'clock Love you all. See you on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to be cooking, okay? We are also going to be cooking some of the things um, that are good for you. Good meal, delicious meal, but healthy. A lot of people are trying our oats banana bread and they love it. So if you haven't done your own oats banana bread, go down my page, watch how to make oats banana. Very healthy, no flour, no sugar. So no SSS, sugar, salt, saturated fat, <laughs> reduced drastically, all right? Thank you. Love you all. Bye. See you on Wednesday, 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Bye.